some of you have read or listened to my journal uh, that recorded my first encounter with the beings from Arcturus, the Arcturians. And this is one that I recorded the next day. Uh, it's called Enter the Arcturians. And it was written on 3-23-2010. It was the first journal of the day. And the Mayan day was one vulture or wisdom. I find it interesting that the Arcturian experience occurred on the day of ascension, the 13th. Okay, the Mayan day being a one today, that means this is the beginning of a new Tracina or 13 day period. By the way, I may be murdering the spelling of these words. I haven't heard them said, I've just seen them written. Though there are 20 Mayan sacred sun signs, such as today's, which is Sib, being vulture or wisdom, there are only 13 numbers that cycle around. And so you've got the 13 numbers, imagine it like a gear, and then you've got the 20 sun signs, imagine it like another gear. And the teeth mesh, and so they go round and round, and of course, you know, you can imagine. Okay. A Tracina is one such cycle comprising 13 days. The one day is important to note because it sets the tone for the entire 13-day period, the cycle. Thus, though the numbers, uh, tunes or tones, and the sun sign will change throughout, all will carry the, the flavor or the sense uh, of, of the sun sign sib. It is uncanny how the Mayans managed to uncover this. It is amazing how it works, how accurate it is. Moving on. First, I am not a contactee. I have had no physical dealings with extraterrestrials. That being said, I certainly have had dealings with them. As have we all, really. But that's another story. So... There are some ETs I am familiar with and some not. Yesterday, I had dealings with a new group, those from Arcturus. It was amazing. Just like on Earth, or anywhere, I suppose, in the lower densities, such as 3D, there are the good guys and there are the bad guys. It's no different with ETs. It bothers me, some, that so many dear people are so quick to project onto anything extraterrestrial, anything with fancy technology and or the ability to appear in light body, the qualities of rescuers, helpers, or even saviors. But I'll leave that aside. It isn't germane to this experience. I'm not looking for rescue just support. I am a sovereign being, and I take that seriously. Let somebody rescue you, and pretty soon you find them in charge, in control. No thanks. So, I'm somewhat familiar with some from Sirius, the Pleiades, and Andromeda. But, last night, I had my first conscious direct contact with Arcturians, it was superlative. I won't even try to describe it. There are no words. Just as we are on third density, these other races occupy one density or another. I'm not sure with the Pleiadians, but the Andromedans are on fifth density, and it's sixth density for the Arcturians. They left 3D behind so long ago. There's no telling what date. Besides which, our dates and time system has no meaning to anyone but us. It's so unreal, so ephemeral, so very specifically 3D. Wow, that's all I'm left with saying. Wow, I will never be the same again. Not possible. The changes are too deep, too far-reaching. I actually went to where my hologram of me 
of Teresa Ann originates is projected from and made changes to and as the me there. See, I told you it was no use trying to explain. It doesn't matter anyway. Everything is what it is, in spite of anything we might say or think of it. I will say this, though. Our beliefs, our thoughts do create. Though I knew that before, it is different to see it in action, to see how it works. Well, to see it at work, anyway, I'm amazed. And you can bet I'll be a hawk now, observing my thoughts, much more aware of their power inherent. One thing's for sure, and that's that we're the creator of this 3D dream. But we don't do it from here, from 3D. Deep, huh? Einstein was really on to something when he said something to the effect that to arrive at a solution, we must rise up above the problem, not stay at the same level with it. And that's so, but there's more to it. So much more. For to make my changes, and I just lost my place. Excuse me. For to make any changes to ourselves here below, we must also rise upward in densities, rise over this level. That's been the main thing that's plagued those who work with the law of attraction and the like, staying on the same level with the situation they're trying to change. The how is the thing, though, isn't it? Yes, and that's not so easily done. Well, it is easy once you get there, but there are no shortcuts. In the end, each one is his or her own savior. We must rescue ourselves, rise up out of the muck. Then the view becomes so much the clearer. We can see when we rise all the nonsense below and we wonder whatever was the fascination there. <laughs> we look back at 3D, at duality, where we were trapped so long with a deep sigh of gratitude for the new view. For, from this perspective, it is all seen. It is so simple, so easy, to behold all the pitfalls and traps that kept us down. In our own little cage wheel, we rumbled around and round. Endless ages, it seems, we were trapped. And we thought, too, we were bound, and bound to forever go round and round, lifetime after lifetime, repeating. But no more. For our vision has cleared now. Things are seen for what they are, and we're free as a bird, never to return. Oh, we'll look back in fond memory, and forever we'll retain, you see, the experiences we had there below, for they've expanded us in ways that weren't available other ways, and we've grown, greatly expanded ourselves. And the underlying purity, the outstanding dignity, the divinity we suspected was always below, just beneath conscious reach, you see. We knew we were divine, and it's so. Well, never know when the poetry is going to break out anymore. Just a note about that to close here. It's not edited, not worked on, none of that. It just flows, and it shows how I'm willing to make a complete ass and fool of myself here. It's part of the surrender, the diving into the now, into heart. It's a trip to be had, but the way that we get there is to let go. For this trip is clearly a flow, do you see? So... Apologies for the amateurishness of the poetry, but just make allowances, okay? Thank you.